Hi everyone, my name is Chris Luton. I'm winemaker here at St. Francis Winery and Vineyards. And today I get to share with you our Reserve Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. Behind me you'll see a map of California and Sonoma County in particular. We have the Pacific Ocean to the west. We have Napa Valley to our east. And further north up in Sonoma County is where Alexander Valley lies. And that's the source for all the fruit for this program. And when I, my job, what I really want to do is capture and harness the energy of Alexander Valley in the bottle that you have. And one way to do that is through vineyard selections. So looking at hillside vineyards and mountain vineyards particularly. And why? Well, the weather up there is warm during the day. It's cold at night so that during the day we can create all those great aromatic compounds that we're looking for. And then at night, the vines can relax and we can retain some of that natural acidity and really develop some really rich tannins for that mouthfeel. On up in those hillsides, the soils tend to be a little bit thinner, meaning they're well drained, they don't hold a lot of water. So it puts a natural stress on the vines, which is actually really a really good thing. Creates small berries so we can intensify and concentrate fruit flavors, tannins, acid, all those wonderful things that make a wine uh, great to drink today, but also age really well as, as time goes on. Uh, for me, I like to age this wine about 20 months here at the winery. That allows time for some more flavor development. It allows time for those tannins to soften a little bit as well, and then really get that new sort of French oak component well integrated into the wine. For me, typically looking at Alexander Valley, I find a lot of dark uh, sort of cherry, black cherry components. There's a real nice dark chocolate element to the wine. There's going to be a natural, rich, savory herbal component, and also a little sort of sweet brown baking spices uh, are introduced into the wine as well. Texturally, you know, it's rich, it's Cabernet, it's going to be a big wine, of course, but we do want those tannins to be a little bit more resolved, a little bit more supple, so it makes for a really great glass of wine, start to finish, really long across the palate. Food-wise, it goes together with quite a bit of things. Steak is a great choice. Braised meats will pair very well. Maybe a blue cheese wedge salad can, can, can match the wine nicely. And at the end of the day, a juicy burger always works for me. So enjoy. Cheers, everybody.